Hello kids. Happy F It Friday. Um, cheers. It's Friday. So it's Todd the X-Man Day. I actually stumbled across this. This is how good my life is right now. I stumbled across this beer in my kegerator. Totally forgot it was there. Oh my god. And uh, I thought, what better time to drink it than three seconds after I found it. So, cheers. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good. This one is even, since it got lost in the kegerator for a while, it's two months old, which in the grand scheme of things isn't much, but um, it was canned on July 31st. So it's, yeah, two and a half months old almost. Uh, still, not while it's lost a little, it's still spectacularly good. Anyway, F it Friday. I haven't done one in a while, but I've got some video stuff. But I don't know why not. Uh, so I, I brewed yesterday. Um, I had full plans on doing this this whole Pilsner brew day, um, but I didn't have the lager yeast that I thought I had. So I went to the local bottle shop that sells some homebrew stuff. They had no lager yeast, and that is the extent of my local homebrew stuff. So, uh, I thought, mm, I could just not brew, I could, or, alternatively, I could brew, which would be way rather. Um, so I brewed a little blonde, uh, to throw on the yeast cake and massive amount of dry hops from the, uh, the black IPA that I finished up last week. So, uh, well, check it out. That's the Wayne's World thing. <laughs> no, I did that once. It's stupid. I'm stupid. Just watch the stupid video. What's up, kids? So I'm doing a short little brew day today. Uh, I had planned to do this uh, Pilsner malt, like Pilsner Pilsner beer with Pilsner malt. Um, went to pick up yeast yesterday. They didn't have any lager yeast at the little bottle shop in, in River Falls, which is a bummer, but whatever. Uh, so I'm just going to do a little, like, 3.5% blonde, and I'm going to throw it on all those old dry hops and just see what more hoppiness comes out of them, because why not? If I get a lot, cool. If I don't, also cool, because it's just going to be kind of a little 3.5% blonde beer. Uh, I've got the grain milled. Um, heating up strike water now. I'm, uh, I'm back on the the, uh, the redneck music kit, because I'm, I'm scouting new old bands for Aaron to listen to, because he's... Somehow bored of Jerry Reed, which makes no sense to me, but he wants to expand his horizons a little bit, which I can appreciate. So, uh, I don't know. I'll shoot a little bit of footage or whatever, and uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I, I double crush malt for the first time, so we'll see if that it's really fucking powdery now. So, maybe we'll have a stuck sparge or something exciting. Who knows? All right. So, we're just uh, running off the mash now. Uh, the color is really awesome gold, but probably thin out a little just from, from sparging and stuff, but it's fucking rad right now. Um, so, hops. First word hop, I'm just going to do half an ounce of Magnum because Magnum is great. Uh, I don't want it like, you know, crazy bitter um, for this, but I just want it nicely bitter. So, half ounce of Magnum is going in. That math don't make sense. Maybe it did make sense. Alright, so we're just running off the mash. There is our half ounce of magnum at a first port hop. Exciting stuff. All right, so I'm just coming up to a boil now. Sparge and everything. I was figuring, I was shooting for an OG of 1037, uh, and I was thinking like 80% efficiency. Um, but so far, this beer is already becoming Janetsky. Um, my pre-boil is 1037, so I've already hit my OG before the boil. 
So, I mean, it's only going to be a 4% view now, maybe 4.5, but, man, I really thought with, I kind of maybe the double crush, um, running that grain through the mill twice, it must have made a huge difference. I know the, the, the grist itself was really powdery, um, but the husks were still good. It, it laudered like a champ. I never thought about sticking or, or hesitating or anything. So, anyway, Janetsky beer. Who knew? This is the first little sneaky taste of the black IPA. It's not ready yet. It's in a keg, it's carb. It smells fucking bananas. But it's it's young and angry still. It needs a week in the keg to just get used to its new surroundings. So I'm not gonna like obsess over it. Maybe a little, but uh, it's gonna be solid. It needs to come into its own. It needs to, the body will come back into shape a little bit. But, even in its current state, it's not a bad beer. So, all right, I'm going to do this boil. There's nothing to do uh, for 25 minutes. I'm only boiling this for 30 minutes because I've, I don't know. I've read some things. Uh, there was a big thing on Brulosifer, if anybody reads the blog Brulosifer, um, about basically it was Pilsner malt, but like kind of DMS, 30-minute boil versus 60-minute boil. Is there really, is there really that much of a benefit? Um... And for a beer like this, I don't think there is. So I'm going to go 30 minutes, um, throw an ounce and a half of hops in at five minutes. Uh, I get the, the other half ounce of Magnum, and then I'm going to throw an ounce of Azaka in just for Lubru. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll be back. I'll probably film something else. But, anyway, cheers. All right, here's our five-minute hop drop. Um... Half ounce of Magnum, just the half ounce that was left, and uh, one ounce of Azaka, which smell really, really good. Um, the combination of the Azaka and the Magnum, you get really like a peppery, fruity thing. It smells awesome. So if that translates through to the beer, yondu. So there we go. Up comes the foam. Green and delicious. Okay, so, we day basically done. Uh, it's almost chilled down. Just gotta scrub the pot out quick and I'm done. Um, finished an OG of 1043, which I haven't figured out what the efficiency is, but it's gotta be 85-ish, I would think, 86. Um, somewhere around there, so that's pretty good. Maybe I'll double crush everything from now on. Um, more efficiencies, more beer, kind of. But the wort tastes good. Uh, I'm going to get it chilled down, throw it right on that same yeast cake with all those hops, and uh, this will be probably the last, the last hurrah for that one, so it'll be cool, though. Um, other than that, got new nerds. Okay, so that's that. That's all I've got. I'm going to spend the, uh, the rest of my afternoon cleaning tap lines and waiting for someone to entertain or to upload something entertaining to YouTube. So um, that's what we do. We live vicariously through YouTube, especially when you live in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so anyway, cheers kids. Everybody have a good weekend. Brew some beer. Drink some beer. Drink some delicious beer. Gotta do nerds.